And we're back here, gonna take a look at my thinking. Uh, so for the other rectangle, um, there really is only, remember, what is the only other rectangle that has an area of eight. Um, just when you're, when you're counting up all of the squares, because we're trying to get rectangles. Because that's the other thing with two, like you could like do lots of crazy ones, but it has to be a rectangle. Um, so it got, it has a length of eight and just a width of one because eight times one equals eight. So the perimeter, um, I could count up all of those sides like I did in that one, or I could just add them up. Well, I know that eight plus eight equals 16 and one plus one is two. So 16 plus eight, the perimeter is 18. And I just, I, I drew like other boxes just to show you. I was like trying to figure out, okay, how else could I do this? And if I had three and three and three and three, oh, that equals nine. And I was thinking, well, okay, that would be too small. So there really was only going to be two different um, two different rectangles for that one. And then for my thinking down below, I just said they um, compare the perimeters. Well, I said they're both, um, what do you notice about their shapes? I just note they're both rectangles. You know, one is kind of longer than the other. But um, yeah, and so you can check your thinking on that one. And then going back, now going to our next problem. So number nine, I'm going to circle that one. Ooh. Circle this one for us, and I'll read it. Leanna plants a vegetable garden in two sections. She plants corn in a section that is, okay. Two sections, one is five meters long and six meters wide. She plants squash in a section that is three meters long and six meters wide. Okay. Describe one way to find the area of the garden, then find the area. Okay, so basically for this, for part A, you just have to describe what would you do to find the area of the whole thing? Because the garden is two parts. So what are you going to do to try to figure out what the area is for the whole garden? So not just like the corn part, not just the squash part, but for the corn and squash together. So just in words as best as you can. Then B, draw a picture of the garden to show your answer is correct. Because you have to then um, find what, what is the area of everything all together. So then just draw a picture of it and just kind of show your work. All right, come back and check your answers here.